Welcome back to Video Tutorials Excel 2013 Spreadsheets Day 5 Exercise 3 Inventory Exercise Unit A File EXA File Okay uh, We're gonna do an, a small exercise here Okay Basically we are gonna be using from the Unit A Okay, let me go ahead and open my folder. Okay, right click and here's on the Bio Explorer. I'm gonna click into Excel 2013 student files. I'm gonna resize my window here. Okay, so we're gonna be using exercise unit A and file. Okay, so here's my folder, unit A, and then we're gonna be using A5. Okay, so we're going to practice the multiplication formula and sum. So this is going to be an inventory exercise. Double click. My spreadsheet opens. I maximize it. Now what I need to do, file, save as, on computer, Excel 2013 files, and then I'm going to give it a name. Okay, so this is going to be my inventory. <laughs> Practice inventory file, okay, and the date, and then save, okay. So there we go. Okay, we're gonna continue working with formulas in this particular uh, case. Here we're gonna focus into the multiplication formula, okay, and the other side. Okay, uh, so here's the title inventory items. We have labels item. Sale price item, okay, label for quantity and the total value, okay. So in this case, we want to find it out, okay, the total value, okay. These are the products that we have in store. This is a zip, sale price, to build public, and we want to find out how much we have in value in store, okay. Now, formula is going to be simple here. Equals. Remember, we always start with an equal sign. We have the sale price, right? Asterisk, which is going to be our multiplicator times 45. And then we click into our sale flow. Okay? Uh, we've seen already the different methods to type in the formula, right? Uh, we could type in, use the type in method or using the clicking method. Okay? I prefer, okay, to use the click method because it's more accurate. If I type in the formula, there's more chances that I made a mistake. Okay? So by clicking into the formula, uh -huh. I'm going to make sure that that formula uh, that I'm selling in the correct cells. And there's my total value, 509. Okay. And then again on the other, equal, sale price, my denominator is going to be multiply. Okay. See, be careful when you guys are selecting because I changed my D7. I, by mistake, I click on D7. So I'm going to have to use backspace. And then I'm going to click on B5. Okay, that's why we go in by rows and by columns. Okay, so B5 times C5. Enter. And there's my price. Okay, equals the next one. Enter. Okay, now can I copy the formula here? Okay. Yes, of course. I'm going to click into the cell. I'm going to use copy command. Choose the copy command. And then I'm going to sell the range uh -huh, where I'm going to paste the formula. I'm going to click on, not on paste, but into the paste drop down arrow. Because I want to make sure that I select, see, formulas. And there's my totals. How can we get rid of that wavy line? I just escape. And there we go. Okay. Now, if we find if we want to find out what's the total value, okay, in, in all the items that we have in store, I'm gonna select the range, including the empty cell where the results are gonna go, and I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna click into my arrows, okay. So here's my total: four thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and forty cents, okay. And okay, so like that, okay. Now. I'm going to click on save. Okay. 
Now, um, let's say that we want to copy this data. Okay, we copy the data. So I'm going to highlight the access results. Use the copy command. Use my wavy lens indicating that I, you know, uh, uh, this data is being placed into the clipboard. I'm going to select a new location. I'm going to go to previous and see, I'm going to be looking into the different options space. Okay, now in this case, I want to make sure that I copy the formulas. And there we are. How can we get rid of those the wavy lines by using escape? Okay, now uh, remember that if you guys need to change the width of the column, bring your pointer up here into the line that is dividing that particular column with the next one between the line. When you guys have this new icon, uh, see icon, left click, hold it, and drag it. Okay, so that we could fit everything into. Okay. Now, in this case here, uh, this is going to be a little bit maybe confusing because we have data and data. Okay, uh, I'm going to select a range. Okay, and I'm just going to start using my borders. Okay, borders, drop down arrow, and I'm going to be applying all borders. Okay, what this is going to do, this is going to help me to read the information better. Okay, so I select my range. The last item that I use is here, so I don't need to click into the down arrow. I just click right here, and there's my answer there. Okay. Now, when I'm, I'm doing that, because I'm going to reuse this little table. Okay. Let's say that we have new quantities, and I'm going to go ahead and start changing these numbers. Okay. As we change the numbers, see, uh, we get new results. Okay. There you go. Okay, so let's say that on this table we have now more items in, uh, the next month, and all my data is just going to be updated automatically. Okay, so let's say that this is for, uh, let's say that this is going to be, you know, that that was for April 2013. Okay, and this one right here, that is going to be for May 2013. Okay, when you just type in a uh, formula, see, the US is, see how I'm typing in May 2013. When I hit enter, it's just changing to this particular formula. Okay, it's just how Excel works. And we will see uh -huh, that into another tutorial. Okay, so there you go. There's another example where you, we use formulas. And in this case, we use the multiplication formula. Okay, and then we just use the add a sum to get the total. You copy and paste that data, the same table, and then we just update it then in college. Okay, I'm gonna click on the file and save and end the next. Okay, well, inventory exercise. Okay, we practice multiplication formula sum and copy and paste. Okay, thank you, and until next tutorial. Bye bye.